you're watching another Jane and Animation Nuzlocke video. But this isn't any ordinary Nuzlocke video. It is a Soul Link, which means it's two players. It's gonna be epic. Let's check it out. You know the drill at this point. Pokemon faints, it dies. Catch yep. one Pokemon per route and nickname it to set up for emotional trauma. But this time we're doing something a bit different. Pretty accurate. A two-person Nuzlocke. It's technically called a Soul Link, but no one knows what that means. So basically you and person two play the same Pokemon game, but the same I wonder who time, she played with. the same Nuzlocke rules. However, your Pokemon are linked, which means if my starter dies, player two's starter also dies and they can't do anything about it. Plus, we can only have one primary typing for both of our teams combined. So if I catch a water type and add it to my team, person two can't have a water type at all on theirs. And this is such top, a cool concept. All Pokemon are randomized. I can walk into the grass at any point and accidentally find God. And maybe he'll just kill all my animals right then and there. So with all these new rules in place, I needed to find a player too. What? This is such a cool concept and something that I would love to do. If you guys want to see me do this with somebody, let me know who and when and where and why in the comments. But let's see who Jaden chose. One who's a real Pokemon master, able to adapt, improvise, and strategize Wolfie. all at the drop of a hat. And who else other than Pokemon master himself? Jacob Alpharad, ah, who at this point Alpharad. in time has a 50-50 Nuzlocke win ratio. Here's our Pokemon <laughs> Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Soul Link Nuzlocke. We both go downstairs, barely greet our mom, and immediately beeline it to Professor Elm's lab to see what Pokemon he's got for us. I'm pretty sure the starter Pokemon are also going to be randomized, so let's see if they get something cool or not cool. Because we don't know. They're random. In case you forgot what I just said. We oh, scroll yeah. up to him and okay, he pats cool. Jacob on the head and goes, here, choose from these three. I picked them specially for you. Torterra, oh, Tentacruel, oh. or Ludicolo. Sheesh. All right, what do I get? He's got to go Ludi. Why not Mankey Ariatus? Awesome. <laughs> Jacob takes Torterra and I take Mankey and we name them Franklin. On our way to talk to Mr. Pokemon, Jacob runs oh, into a Regirock in a random patch of grass, which Torterra just flat out it, explodes on him. No one died, luckily, but also, oh my God, we get an egg and immediately- That is maybe the scariest thing that could possibly happen in a Nuzlocke is if the Pokemon you're battling uses explode. Probably the strongest move in the game. Lee Professor Elm calls and tells us he's been robbed and bullied. You really couldn't handle being alone for 10 minutes, could you? On our way back to help a grown adult, we stumble onto a shady figure who scoffs, challenges us to a battle with Pokemon he stole from Elm, which we immediately win, scoffs again, then drops his wallet, passport, credit card, driver's license, social security, what? target gift card on the ground in front of us for the world to see. Dude, get your crap together. You can't be doing that when you're a wanted fugitive. Back in the lab, Elm is crying on the floor as the police and our neighbor are trying to comfort him. And the police asks us if we saw anyone suspicious. Yes, we saw his info. <laughs> now here we get to name our rival. Jacob and I try to think of someone that we both shared some sort of rivalry with. When we remembered a certain professional Pokemon Nuzlocke has been consistently reacting and critiquing our Nuzlocke so far, some of his comments were more critical than others and directed at one of us more than the other mr policeman his name is jan hi jan <laughs> let's see if you can destroy us from the inside out anyway maybe if i react to enough of these videos i will become the new jan Except I'm not really a Pokemon pro, so I, I don't know if I can critique any mistakes that they may make uh, rather than just be upset with them. I feel like I'm also invested in their journey, to be honest, rather than trying to figure out what is wrong with it. Anyway, our neighbor takes us out to some grass to show us how to catch a Pokemon, runs into Articuno, catches it wow. in a Pokeball in the green, yeah. and turns to us and goes, see, just like that. <laughs> Uh, if only it was that and easy. We can finally start our journey. We both run around in the grass, and our first encounters are Barboach mm. and Houndoom. This would have been awesome for Jacob if he could catch the dang thing. Since we only had Pokeballs, Houndoom was not getting in the ball no matter what, and we ended up not getting that pair. No! But you know, it's all right. There's plenty more encounters like Hop It Farfetch Yikes. that Jacob accidentally kills, or no! Geodude Gyarados. That's a that good one. Jacob accidentally no! kills. No! Tyro Jacob Charizard. stinks! That Jacob accidentally no! kills. Hey, what? There's no way he accidentally killed three Pokemon in a row. That is like an all-time bad Pokemon trainer move. That is that is actually insane. I, like, I was trying to think of like how bad that is. That's pretty bad. I don't even know that's possible. Why do I get this? And Jacob gets all this. 
And why do you keep killing him, Jacob? But finally, in the ruins of Elf, we managed to catch a new pair. Sand slash Camerupt. Not bad okay, at all. We try to name them Michael, these. but both misspell it. So welcome to the team, <laughs> Michels. Then on Route 32, we catch Totodile Beedrill, which is also pretty good. Mainly for Tur just me. Yeah, we started good. combining the two Pokemon to create their names, so we ended up somehow with Bedrodo. We ran into a Bedrodo. trainer who had a freaking Palkia on his team. Oh, Fun fact, did you know if you Google Palkia type weakness, Google will tell you that he's weak to fairy? and salamence no other dragons just salamence so jacob and i started joking around every time we saw a palkia oh no if only i had a salamence uh oh don't have a salamence <laughs> over here it was kind of strange how many palkias we ran into but that didn't stop us from bullying every single one so we take on Falkner, okay. the first well, it gym seems leader like who has palkia wasn't Kyogre much of a challenge Bronzar for them oh god and metagross dragon oh god oh my god after a lot of difficulty we both managed to beat him with no casualties i don't know how that happened but hey everyone's all right oh he's going to take himself out oh, <gasps> oh my god how about some encounters to lighten the mood? Oh, hello, Shuckle, Shuckle. Suicune. Suicune! There's no way they that called the Suicune. That Jacob accidentally kills yeah. in Azalea Town. I mean, he wasn't going to catch that thing anyway. He, They probably still only have, like, Pokeballs and Great Balls right now. There's no way he would catch a Suicune. We challenge Bugsy, who luckily wasn't as stacked as Faulkner. And as we step outside, Jan, who is surprised we haven't been demolished yet. Yeah, I'm surprised too. Challenges us to a battle, which we also win. <laughs> we run into Ma Wild Deoxys in the forest, who someone accidentally kills, and make our way to Golden oh, Rod, that where there's a her. security guard that'll give us both a Pokemon. He hands me a Porygon 2, which I'm ecstatic about, turns to Jacob, and gives him Regigigas, which we can't use because they're both normal types. Of oh, all the legends you had to get, of course no you get the way. only normal type besides actual god. We beat Whitney. That is so unlucky. And when she said Regigigas, she sounded upset. I was like, how? Like, why are you upset about a Regigigas? But they can't even use it. So that, that's pretty brutal. Feels bad, feels bad. And in the national park, find Piplup Flaffy, which we named Plap. I pitched to Jacob that I'm willing to trade the Bedrodos to make room for this new pair, so he essentially switches Beedrill with Flaffy, which we shake on. That's Welcome a, yeah, to the I, team, I say that's a good train. And then my Plap immediately almost gets killed. Almost. Aha! Jaden. <laughs> I'll fix it, I'll fix it. <laughs> Sorry, that could have been bad. very, very bad. We find Dragonair Shuppet, which is an actually insane pair we could use right away. Wow, yeah. But, no. yeah, I ended up killing that one. No! Look, I'm sorry, Jacob. It is harder than it looks to catch these things. We pour water on the strange It's really not. It's some. really not that hard to catch Pokemon. I'm sorry. Jaden, you, you, like, you, you, I'm sure you're an amazing Pokemon trainer. Same with same with Jacob. But my lord, how hard it is? It's not that hard to catch Pokemon. I'm not sure what the big challenge here is. Six that actually turn out to be Cray Dilly Silcoon. We kind of named them Dilly Doo and could have added them to the team a, as that, Death Potter, but bad, we yeah. ended up forgetting to. That's not a Which great is, yeah, a pretty silly duo. mistake. But what's the worst that could happen? Who needs Death Fodder in a Nuzlocke? Jacob and I make it to Ekritik and walk into does. the Burn Tower. As we are about to go down there, I have a feeling one of the Pokemon is going like, You're only trying to catch Suicune to make yourselves look strong than you actually are. And we we're like, no, nah, we killed him a while ago. But he still wanted to battle, probably to show off the Mew he somehow found. We beat him yet again, go downstairs, scare off the dogs, and go challenge Morty. Jacob didn't have any trouble for the team Morty had for him. So you. But for me, I was having a bit of a harder time because he had a Lugia, no. which neither me nor my team could even handle. All I could do was bubble beam it with Plap and pray I don't get That's crit gonna do one shot nothing. as Jacob just sits there watching. But it ended up working out. We arrive in Alavine and climb the How? giant lighthouse, almost falling to our literal death along the way. Reach Jasmine at the top, who's like, climb back down and go get medicine for Amphi and Cianwood. And we were like, we almost died getting here. Surfing to Cianwood, we encountered Obama Snow Pupitar. And Ooh. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, we did catch them. Obamatar oh, joined the team go. immediately. And Someone just suddenly, got we've got a pretty powerful lineup going on. I think also, a Alpha random guy in town That's gifted sick. us a Mewtwo and Weeping Bell. Finally, what? I'm the one with the legend now. But we had to box him because we couldn't have two grass types. <clears throat> All of this sudden shared luck combined with our zero death win streak got us feeling pretty confident. Which naturally means it's time to get kicked in the throat. Specifically by a black belt martial artist, Gym Leader Chuck was indescribably tough in the most bullcrap way possible. 
For me, Jacob had no trouble at all because of he's Jacob. He of had a course. Kingdra, which I brought Obamatar out for. Nothing else on my team could really do anything against it. The main drawback of this is Obamatar's snow warning ability, which creates mm. hail damaging every Pokemon, including my own. That's not an ice type, which is pretty inconvenient in a Nuzlocke. I, I even see made how that a, would be bad. a teeny tiny comment about it when I first got him. I can, I can, I'm gonna call it. Snow's gonna kill one of my Pokemon. Kingdra goes down and Chuck's only other oh Pokemon, boy. he's only got two, is Frostlass, who, no. if you don't know, has Snow Cloak. Snow Cloak makes the Pokemon 20% harder to hit if there's hail. You wanna know how many Pokemon in Gen 4 have this ability? Five. Three of which being Mamoswine. You wanna know how many Pokemon there are in Heart Gold Soul Silver? 493. Now, I know these odds sound pretty awful already, but you know what this Frostlass does? She uses Ominous Wind. Ominous Wind has a 10% chance to boost every single stat of the user. Oh, God. She gets the stat boost. Wait, I didn't even know that. No! After a lot of strategizing, we both decided the best option for us would be to send in Mychil as death fodder to heal up Plap because he's the only one that can really do anything at this point. And what happens? Please don't get another stat boost. No way it gets another boost, right? He's good. He's so good. He's No, no. Oh my Frostlass crit one shots my as soon as he no comes out. Way. Our first oh, that's guess. so bad. Poor camera. No, I don't so care what this is dead. Out of Jack's gym and then just falls over dead for no reason. I got Plap healed up and basically started heal stalling, which sure isn't a noble strategy. But t t I, <laughs> come on. You got to do After what you got to do. I was struggling against my own bad luck for what felt like hours. Finally, Frostlass goes down. Finally. With Peck. Holy Why is it still no pack? Jacob practically drags me out of the gym and we head to the BC. We decided <laughs> to add a pair we caught back on Route 35, which was Charmeleon Donphan named Darfell. A fantastic duo. Darfell! I was admittedly, and I think justifiably, still that really salty about duo. what we just went through. But Jacob convinced me that we should just move on. We got our Darfells leveled up and returned to Olivine to feed Amphi the medicine that we picked up so Jasmine would finally do her job. And check this out. Already oh done. my god. <laughs> You're right. Oh my god. Look at our- I mean, that's not too bad. It's a Lugia, but it's only level 30. And Plap hopefully Here's knows Ice Beam. Quick. <laughs> Easy peasy. Nah, it's all right. She also had a Geoxys. Oh, we headed god. to Mahogany Town, catching and adding Nidoran and Beberil named Beryl to the team. And in the Lake of Rage, Jacob caught a Kyogre paired oh. with my Swalot. We never uh. used this pair, but I just wanted to mention it what? for reasons. Why would you not use that pair? Kyogre's like the strongest Pokemon ever. I mean, I know Swalot, you know, isn't the best and debatably pretty bad, but that just makes Jacob's team like OP. Then all you would need to do is just get one super strong Pokemon yourself. There's no way you didn't use this pair. No, that actually triggers me. We approach the glistening shadow of the lake beast, activate the encounter and find a shiny Baneerian Dawn fan. Oh, another Dawn fan. Not you that know, sucks. the best. But hey, free shiny Pokemon. Doesn't hurt to cat. Oop, I killed it. <laughs> That's again, my bad. Sorry. Lance yep. walks up oh, to us oh, and goes, unlucky. Hi, I'm Lance. Grabs us by the wrist, kicks down the door to the Mahogany Town 7 Eleven, kills one of the guys in there, oh, and gosh. runs into the rocket hideout where he continues to wipe out any living organism he finds down there. Lance is the beast. Classic Lance. We decided to copy him and beat up all the executives and their power generator. Right before we fly to Goldenrod, we pick up the seventh badge and then continue curb stomping Team Rocket. We were getting a bit too comfy though, and as Jacob wasn't paying attention, mainly because he just got a chicken sandwich, no, Obama no Tar was killed dies. by a golem's earthquake. Come on, Jacob! Oh no. That was a really bad blow and stung much more because we weren't paying attention. Sorry I got distracted by a chicken sandwich, friend. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. But we did have to move on, especially since we were literally in the middle of a gang fight. We shoved our way to Rocket Executive and Big Boss Archer and give him a bit of a throat chop so he would calm down and stop doing whatever it is he was doing. And everyone is saved. On our way to Blackthorn, we catch Frostlass Corfish, which put me into a vengeful trauma spiral. <laughs> you. <laughs> and then Jacob caught himself both a Suicune and an Azelf. 
We arrived into- Wait, Jacob actually it has the best luck of all time. He's found, I think, like four or five legends, but he's not even using them, I don't think. Is he using any? I Gunclair, don't even know. who led with a Mewtwo against me, which at this point, I shouldn't even be surprised. But all the rest of our team was pretty much a pushover for both of us. Claire's a bad sport and refused to think we were good trainers. So we talked to the old man behind the gym and he's like, so do you beat your Pokemon? And we we're like, no. And he's like, awesome. Claire, give him the stupid badge. What? So now we can head to the Elite Four. Hey guys, I think you should go fight a horde of Asian women in Ecrotique. Uh, so we enter the Ecrotique Theater and start fighting the women. And the second girl for me sends out Ambipalm. As I switched to Franklin, it screeched, which I <clears throat> didn't pay attention to. Oh God. And Screech l harshly lowers your defense. So this next turn, Ambipalm might destroy the primate. Ambipalm double hit killed Franklin. Yeah, yeah, it'll do that. That'll happen. Our starters died. Dude, that was really sad. We were about to make it to the Elite Four with them and bam. That is a crushing blow. Not alive anymore. They were with us through everything. Pretty much the backbone to our teams. Man. Not Franklin. Jan's gonna make so much fun of us when he finds out. As we're still mourning, the last kimono girl rest spams with Waylord. Do you have any dignity, woman? We're <laughs> lamenting over here. We try to leave and the girls are all, No, no, go catch the legendary Pokemon. He's already got three. So I head to Whirl Islands and Jacob scales the bell tower. And what legends do we find? The legendary Zangoose and Loudred. <laughs> Low key, Zangoose is a sick Pokemon and should totally get another well, an evolution or like a mega or something. It should be a legendary. That that Pokemon model is sick. Finally, we have some freedom again. And as soon as we touch the water in Newbark to head to Victory Road, what pops up from the bottom of the lake but Entei himself? Oh God. And Doduo. Oh my Who God. Who gets the Entei? Oh, she does. Let's go. Please Hello, don't kill the Doduo. Doday. Okay. That's they, okay, going in the box it. because of fire types. We catch Cascoon Regirock in victory. Wait, it's going in the box because of fire types. Why doesn't she just make Jacob put his fire type on the bench? I don't understand why you catch an Entei and you can't figure out a way to use it. I don't I don't get it. Road and heading towards the exit, Jan sprints up from behind us and I iconically say, This is your last chance to kill one of our Pokemon, Jan. And what happens? Oh god. Someone's dying here. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Him what on happened? top use counter. Oh. No way. That's not great. Oh, uh, he killed one of our Pokemon. Yeah. That Wait, isn't counter not very effective against Charizard? I don't understand. How does counter work? I, I am appalled at this moment. That I don't understand. That sucks. That really sucks. Darfell was an incredible pair we've had since the fifth gym, and we really grew to lean on. We lost quite literally half our team right before the Elite Four. Oh, God. Yeah. That's mm. brutal. We beat Jan for the last time, enter the Indigo Plateau, well, now you can and use immediately Entei. bolt to the PC to see what kind of damage control we can do. After a very long time of trying to stitch together the best teams possible, we ended up with this. Ampharos and Polion, Bibaril Nidoqueen, Beautifly eh, Cradley, Dodrio and Tay. That one is good. You know, at least you get one good Pokemon. The ones before that, though, were just okay. And, and Victory Bell. And that one is also sick. Victory Bell, low key. I mean, it's not great, but it's usable. So the last two pairs, I am fans oh, of. Mewtwo. I am a fan I of. Know. Oh, I know. Wow, Jaden. Super balanced. You've got Mewtwo and Entei, and Jacob has a Beautifly. Look, I. This is the best we could do, I promise. Okay, yeah, Jacob Seam is now trash, which is crazy because he has a Kyogre. How could they not figure out how to get Kyogre on his team? That is pretty much the only Pokemon that he would need to destroy the Elite Four. Tell him, Jacob, tell him. Anyway, big <laughs> deep breath. Here we go into the unknown depths of the Elite Four. Will, Coda, and Bruno were all no problem at all. We breezed oh, right past them. Okay, that Everything was quick. Everything was going great. <laughs> That's three Elite Four Sorry. members down. Oh god. Yeah, he's oh, See a oh, oh my god. Uh the barrels. Uh, oh <laughs> nine <laughs> HP. On the other hand, Karen was not as nice. No! No, he any charge move. Oh. Okay, he just did cross chop. He's dead. It's fine. I was safe to fly him. I'm just paranoid. No oh my god. way! Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> it crit. Oh no. Guys, we're so sorry we got you killed in the first, like, 
15 minutes of having you. Oh, we ended up getting God. out of the battle with no more so casualties. But well, now Jaden only has one legendary Pokemon and only five total Pokemon. So does Alpharad. So this is going to get bad. Facing Lance with a team of four each is really... Oh, wait, they only have four. Not ideal, to say the least. But we walked up to him nonetheless. It's so a 4 we six. win or lose here... There's no this way they win. Last battle. There's no way he they win. He leads with Fiona and Ledian, which we were both like, ha ha ha, Lance, is this all you've got? And then he hits us with the no. Jacob was <laughs> up against oh, his God. Porygon Z, Rampardos, Licky Licky, Zapdos, and Plusle. And even though it's a pretty oh, stacked geez. team, he was holding his own and getting through them really well. On my end, I was dealing with a giga impacting Snorlax, which I really had nothing for. I just had to pray for no crits and as many misses as possible. It goes down eventually, and what does he send out next? No! Oh. Well, they apparently had a great and easy time getting through Palkias in the beginning of the game, so hopefully that translates to now as well, but something tells me I don't think that's going to be the case. I could really use a Salamence right about <laughs> now. This is what we get. We bullied Palkia so much during our journey here. Looking at my team, I don't have anything that can handle Palkia either, except for Mewtwo. And what happens? He gets Spatial Rand crit one shot, turn no! one. No! I am in a lot of trouble. I took so much time getting past Snorlax that Jacob was oh, already gosh. done with his battle, so all he could do was watch this massacre from the sidelines. I sent out Dilly Doo to confuse Stalem and just try to chip away at him with basically nothing. And my god was I lucky because if Palkia hit one more crit at any point, Dilly Doo and the run was over. And I was forced to dance on that line for a long time. But eventually, Dilly Doo lands the finishing blow. I was so proud. The pair that we caught so early on in Dean's death Dilly fodder Doo. was the one saving us. We're so sorry for doubting you, Dilly Doo. Thank you for sticking by us and not dying. But that was only half of Lance's team, might I remind you. Plap yeah. took out his sand slash, which stunk. But Bastiodon came out, tanked Plap's surf, and killed him with Metal Burst. I was in shock with that one. Oh, that was our God, second oldest what? pair. Ever since our Franklins died. How did Metal Burst destroy an Empoleon? Is it not not very effective? I swear it's steel. I don't, how did that kill him? I, Jacob and I both started seeing the Plaps as our star members. Barrel came out and Revenge finished the Bastiodon and Lance's last Pokemon was oh. big ol' hard-hitting, tanky freaking Azumarill. That is I not sent Dilly Doo back out because Barrel would die immediately. Yeah and started the chipping game again. If that wasn't bad Let's enough, Azumarill Doo. set up the rain and an aqua ring for itself, oh, which turned God. this fight from uh to ah. Uh, this awful one-on-one -on -one lasted 10 whole minutes. I slap him, he slaps back much harder, and then heals, and, and then, then I heal. heal. But yep. eventually, <laughs> Dilly Doo wins the stalling battle, and Let's Azumarill go, goes Dilly down. Doo. In an unpredictable turn of events, Dilly Doo saved us oh, from utter did defeat. It. What no an adventure way. we just went on. Insane encounters, insane bullcrap, friends, death, bullying, and the Dilly Doos. Thanks for going on this journey with me, Jacob. I quite literally couldn't have done it without you. And a salute to the buddies we made along the Rest way. Rest in peace! Except to you. all the Pokemon that died, except for Frost Loss. That video is absolutely insane. If you guys want to see me do a Soul Link Nuzlocke, definitely let me know in the comments. And who knows, maybe I'll do one. Anyway, if you enjoyed this amazing video, be sure to go ahead and check out Jaden Animation. She makes some insane, amazing Pokemon videos. And don't forget to hit that like button.